if at all, any time you have two backs in the backfield, you're going to be in the box. If you have one back in the backfield, you could possibly out, be out of the box. Okay, so this has been the, the hard part for a lot of people why they wanted to get out of the 4-2-5 to go to the 3-4. It was how do you make this thing pass friendly? Okay, well, there's two things that we will do. Okay, we will play our defensive end tighter in here to take care of that gap right there because you're going to turn into a 4-1. We will bring our mic and we'll tell him to play a foot on the center uh, to play a little bit closer to the weak side. And then when that will, if he, we call it a swap technique, he will then play outside linebacker and he will come out here and swap outside the tackle play. And the reason he will swap is now we can still keep the integrity of the cover two shell and still be able to play it. If we wanted to play cover three, we can play cover three to that, and that's a, that'll be later on in the, in the topic. But this is how we would initially do it. And so if there is a tackle, and he, this is where he is, if there's a tackle and there's a number two, then he will need to be swapped to play his pass coverage. If not, we, if we kept him like this, they'll just throw the ball out here and keep playing with us, okay? So we tell our kid, if, he, if, he, if, there's, if there's one in, the back, one in the backfield, look to see if there's a number two outside of you. If there is not, then you can stay in the box. Why would that happen? If we had this set, that could happen. So there's nobody out there, so we would bring the strong safety here, the free safety here, <clears throat> and that's how we would play uh, that, that in the box there. And so on that, on that form, they have brought one, two, three over. So we would have to make a decision on how we would want to cover them, and we'll get into coverages later. Okay.